It's nice to get out all the banter here. Oh, you're right. Maybe we should play Sine to Nurdle. No, you know what? We, we, we've been to the well a little too much lately. We can, we can check that out at some later date. It's only Wednesday. Ahem, this is pillar boxed. Excuse me. This is both. <laughs> tiny rogues, though? I should play tiny rogues. I'm not going to right now, but I should. Forza Horizon Eliminator. Microsoft make a game that works on the operating system that you use and built. Challenge 2022, difficulty degree impossible. Yeah, Lethal Company is great, but something broke in the newest update. It must suck to be the developer and like make this game. And then everybody loved it so much that they added like a thousand mods into the experience. And then every update that you make is going to break every mod that has been made. And everybody's running like a different permutation of mods every time that they play it. <laughs> I feel for you on that one. That one sucks. That sucks ass. But they need... The, the next thing that they need in Lethal Company, they need like new monsters. Because people are not scared of the game anymore. I still feel the terror, but that's because I haven't, you know, hooked up like an IV drip of Lethal Company into my, um, into my body, you know? They need some new monsters that can scare the people that are playing 22 hours a week. Mike Panics, thank you for the raid, Daniel. It's okay, Mike Panix will have his revenge. He's definitely going first in the NFL draft. It's not even close to be on. Oh, Marvin Harrison Jr. I saw the original, okay? And he was really good. <laughs> he was, he was people. He was really good. Chibli says, straight up yoinking it. And by it, let's just say Mike Peanuts. Chibli, everybody, welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, 48 hour energy. Huge. That's a good one. Fun game. Nuts on the table. Someone's going to take an offensive lineman over Mike Panix. Yeah, of course, man. Somehow, because NFL scouts have no talent, Mike Panix is like the uh, eighth ranked quarterback in the draft. Which doesn't make, it doesn't even make any sense how somehow. He's below Bo Nix, even though he beat Bo Nix's team two times in the regular season. Like, that's a statistically significant sample size in college football, bro. He has a history with injuries? Yeah, because he's fucking playing football, bro. I hadn't watched football for, like... I don't know, 10 years before this season, and I still haven't been watching much. People always talk about how many ads there are in football. How about the fact that uh, every single play causes like a nine minute stoppage because some dude has to get the Undertaker out there to cart him off the field. Like this, the sport should probably not exist, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and the, the crazy part is like, it looks like it's just a normal play for football. Like the dude just gets hit and then he falls over. And you're like, that can't be that bad. And then like the next day, they're like, he broke every bone in his leg on that hit. And you're like, holy cow. This is why we watch soccer. It's like the inverse of football. You know, football is like a bunch of dudes getting killed on the field, pretending it doesn't hurt. Soccer's a bunch of dudes going out for a jog, pretending they've got, like, career-threatening injuries. Look at all the plus twos. Look at them. Look at them. I'm grabbing you by the back of the head and forcing your eyes into the optical scanner. Look at them. So this is how democracy ends. 
with thunderous applause. No disrespect. Um, it's crazy, though, that people get injured playing professional baseball. I'm just going to say, wouldn't happen to me. Not me. Swinging a bat, jogging. Wait, how, how far is it? Because I'm going to hit a home run every time. It's like 90 feet to each base, right? So it's 360 feet, a 360 foot jog. I'm not pulling a hammy on that, I promise you that. Yeah, because you wouldn't slam into the wall catching a ball. I wouldn't play outfield, first off, I'd be on first base. As you know, baseball heads back me up. You put your best fielder on first base because he uh, has to catch the ball on every single play. Yep, that checks out. <laughs> and first base never has contact with the runners. Bro, that's why they got the double-sided base. That's why they got the, the white base and the orange base. So when the dude runs to first, if he's going to make it, he steps on the orange base and we got no problems. Piece of hearts, piece of crap. Double vision, though. Fill your eyes with double vision, Fry, man. Don't mind if I do. Oh, my God. Wouldn't nickel, piece of garbage. Waste of everybody's time. Notched axe. Doesn't do anything. Poke go. Literally, completely useless. What a great use of everybody's time here. And then I'm, what, I was just about to buy another Poke go. I was like, I wonder what the question mark is. <laughs> oh, man. No, you re-rolled? Oh! Ah, it's not bad. Your sap in video was in... Your sap in video? Your sap video was insane? So surprised you got the 10 piece. What can I say? If, if there is a single cockatoo respecter, it is me. I will spend the rest of the week trying to recapture the magic of, of getting the cockatoo badge. People watch SAP YouTube still? They do, and, and thank God for it, honestly. It was the methadone that got me off the heroin of Isaac, but now my ass is just <laughs> playing Isaac on stream. But it's January, bro. We're getting into the swing of things. Well, honestly, sometimes Sap is more annoying to play than Isaac these days. Because at least when you lose in Isaac, you can just, like, complain. <laughs> When I lose in sap, it's always to some motherfucker. Their name is like the Twisted Kilts, and they've got a mascot going, yeah, and then their team is like Hippo and Four Monkeys. And I'm like, wow, really? We're still doing that shit? Some creativity, bro. My ass is out here running Hippo, Two Monkeys, and Two Units that don't do anything. <laughs> Hippo Dragon. Yeah, that's a common one. Hippo Dragons. I mean, this weekly I like it because I'm kind of a scumbag myself. But Five Ostrich, that's a good one. Yeah, it is the best fantasy game of the decade. Too bad it's not indie, though. Back to? Now, when are you going back to Super, uh, Super Auto Pets? Maybe never? That's fine. I understand it. Hey, by the way, I saw a lot of gamers playing Pacific Drive. I don't keep my finger on the pulse of the indie scene that much anymore. But I have been keeping my eye on Pacific Drive. I know that it is a PNW coded... Um, I want to call it like my, a post-apocalyptic My Summer Car. Or maybe a, 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 a Zillennial Oregon Trail. Is that correct? How'd they get that demo? Is that demo available or is that demo you gotta you gotta kiss the ring of the publisher? Which I don't mind.
You gotta kiss the ring. Son of a bitch. Gotta remember my email login. Gotta pay the phantom tax. Can I say that I also saw a tweet? Uh, and it made me laugh because it reminded me of Dan. It said, my old boss used to declare something he called email bankruptcy. Once every two months, he would select all in his email inbox and then just hit archive all and go from a clean slate. His logic was, if it's really important, they'll email me again. <laughs> I think, honestly, I don't do that, but I really do respect it. Dude said I reject the premise. Yeah, Dan used to delete his. But I mean, I don't know if there's that much of a difference. If anything, deleting them might be better than archiving them. Because if you archive them in court, they'll be like, look, you got this email that you claim not to have seen. Whereas Dan could just be like, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> they claim to have emailed me. It doesn't appear to exist in my inbox. I, the first email I've ever received on this account that I've had for 17 years came in 62 days ago, officer. Dan deletes Dropbox uploads while he's still streaming. What is that? Why is he uploading stuff to Dropbox while he's streaming? Also, listen, I have my share of technical problems. Don't get me wrong. But whenever someone... I'm, and it, I apologize to Justin because it most recently happened to him. Whenever I'm streaming with someone and they say, uh, oh, the recording broke because my hard drive filled up. Guys, this, this is not an industry in its infancy anymore okay we've been doing this for a decade we got that's something you got to just do a quick cursory glance every morning and be like that was you a few years ago i know and people can change bro when is the last time you heard me say my i have to delete a video game sometimes to download something from steam that's because every video game is fucking like 75 gigabytes now it's too much Get me out of here. Can I? I can see items. Give me a good one. That's not a good one. That's you're you've betrayed me. I'll, now I'm, this is why I went angel deals exclusive forever, bro. You're gonna send me right back. Lord, forgive me. I'm about to go back to the old me. Have you ever considered declaring hard drive bankruptcy? Yeah, but that hard drive bankruptcy only hurts you. Because you're going to be like, oh, I want to use this application. Oh, I haven't downloaded it. Now I got to download it. Email and uh, bankruptcy only hurts the people who want to reply from you. Which is based. <laughs> Some people should expect a reply. Some people shouldn't have emailed in the first place. It sucks that both of them kind of get hit. There's a lot of collateral damage there. But, like, sometimes there's just too many emails, bro. I'll be taking the long way around. Plus two to mouth. I haven't heard serial bus used as a punchline in a long time. Do you still have a serial bus in your computer? Is this like me asking if cars still have engines? Like... <laughs> I don't really know what a bus is. It's actually all buses. 
USB is a serial bus? Yeah, of the universal variety. It's a wire. Oh, so it's like electric. You ever think we should stop making computers better? For like, just for a couple years? Because like, what has it really done for us? I think it's done a lot for industry. But like, how does that help me out? Like, okay, a better video card comes out. A game with better graphics and worse gameplay comes out. I go, whoa, this game looks nice and shiny. I'm sure glad I spent $2,000 on this video card. My ass goes back to playing Dwarf Fortress, you know? Like, what? We, we're wasting all these, these rare rocks that are in the earth playing, like, Assassin's Creed 29. We should just give them the NASA or something. They're not that rare. Come on, chat. Is that real? Are the computer rocks not... Are, are they relatively... Numerous? They're pretty rare. You know, like, that part of the periodic table that's called rare earth metals? I'm going to ask what could be perceived as a stupid question, but maybe lots of people are thinking it. Is that, is the fact that they're called rare based on their um, frequency on Earth? Or is it like they're using rare in a different term? Yes? When they made the periodic table, how did they know how fucking rare this shit was, bro? CEO of, of mining? Like, it doesn't make sense. And they, wait, but no, no, it doesn't make sense, bro. Wait, are rare earth metals a column? Because then what if they found a bunch of them? Wouldn't they have to be like, because this shit is ordered by like atomic weight. Wouldn't they have to be like, sorry, brother. It turns out there's actually like a lot of plutonium on the planet. Take some protons out of that bitch. Like it doesn't make sense, man. Oh, they're a row. They're a row. My mistake. They're a row. The rare earth metals are the ones that, like, they have to make in a lab? Is that true? Those aren't earth metals, bro. We had to become God to make those elements. If that shit only exists in a laboratory for an infinitesimal span of time, those are not Earth metals. That's like when Tony Stark made Ultron, bro. God is like, leave me out of it. That one's all you. This guy doesn't watch enough physics documentaries. Sorry, I don't have YouTube Premium. They're plus two in me for anything these days. And I have earned it. <laughs> Sorry, my tummy went... It's like being Jerry Seinfeld, you know? If you're... 24 years old and you watch a Jerry Seinfeld special and you're like, why is everybody laughing? This guy's not funny. You're absolutely right. It's because he made Seinfeld. He's not funny. But he did make us laugh for a long time. So we show our appreciation by laughing at his incredibly <laughs> benign observations. Why do they put the cheese on the bottom of the burger? The cheese goes on the top of the burger. Jerry, so, all right, let's get you home, Jerry. It's called a cheeseburger. Not a burger cheese. It's right in the name.
He once endorsed Miranda Sings. Listen, lots of jokes there. Birds of a feather, etc., etc. But at the same time, we can't... Ex Jerry Seinfeld didn't even know who Miranda Sings was when he did that episode of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. I can't expect him to have known everything about Miranda Sings that even we didn't know. Stop hitting me. I'm right. You once said she's your favorite YouTuber? I tell lots of lies to make people laugh. It's kind of my thing. I love Seinfeld and I despise comedians in cars getting coffee. My worst impulse is that I actually like comedians in cars getting coffee. It's indefensible. It's like the most self-important show you could ever imagine. But two funny people, and I, inc I include Jerry in there, okay? I don't think his stand-up is good, but I think he's, he's an amusing guy when he speaks. Two funny people talking can produce some, some funny moments. And it's like the most lightweight content of all time. There probably shouldn't be 400 seasons of it, but... It is the skinny pop of comedy content. There you go. But like non-derogatorily slash SRS. It's a podcast for people who can't download an app. Motherfuckers when the podcasters are eating breakfast instead of just sitting around a studio doing ad reads for some beef jerky startup. <laughs> Motherfuckers, when the best part of the podcast isn't locked behind a Patreon paywall. Listen, if you're gonna come for Jerry Seinfeld, stick to the classics, okay? He did date a high school senior when he was, like, 37 years old, which is not... <laughs> it's bad for the obvious reason, and then it's also, like... Jerry, what are you guys talking about? Really? I can't imagine that he's a good listener in that situation. I said on top of the obvious thing, okay? I'm just saying he's probably like, I don't want to fly to New York. I want to stay in Los Angeles. And she's like, yeah, my geometry teacher is a real bitch lately. Like, what, what are you doing, man? You, how much could you possibly have in common? It is crazy that Seinfeld is like the easiest guy to like own in an impression. Because his voice and his like cadence are so... It's, it is literally like baby's first impression. You can say anything you want like this! And then you just slow it down. I need something, man. I need you got it. You got to riz me up here. Don't you already have blood bag? I, I could have more, right? Right? People? You can. See? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He could have hit me! Get trashed. Okay, we can still win this one. Just, how about a single damage upgrade? That's pretty good. What would cost more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? 
a single shingle could cost more than a simple thimble would, I guess. Wait, sorry. <laughs> I, yes, I am doing Dr. Seuss again. Me when I'm Dr. Seuss's wife. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Sorry, I forgot he was active in the 70s. Me when I'm Dr. Seuss's mistress. <laughs> oh, man. I said, oh, man. Okay. Wasn't he like a bad person? I don't know, brother. I don't want to be... This is too much knowledge. I don't want to be burdened with this much knowledge. The dude wrote a book. It's got 28 words in it. Walk, walk. We like to walk. Walk, talk. We like to talk. Hop, hop pop. We like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Stop. You must not hop on pop. Now all of a sudden, I'm like, well, he fucking... Uh, was like a, a, a war criminal or something, or he, he had not, he was anti-union. I shouldn't know this shit about him, bro. He wrote, he wrote nonsense. 60 years ago. Dude wrote how the Grinch stole Christmas. Like, I... Plus, he's dead, bro. <laughs> He already paid the iron price. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to say, like, I forgive him. I'm just saying, like, you know, leave Hop on Pop out of it. Let's just say he wasn't always saying one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I don't know, man. I don't know what the, people are saying. He said it in the. He said some messed up stuff in the Second World War. I feel like lots of people said some second, some messed up stuff in the Second World War. Maybe you've heard of him. His name was um um. Okay, what name can I say without getting in trouble? Um. Uh, 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 Benito Mussolini. Harry Truman. Winston Churchill. I thought, isn't he the, the, um, the based Giga Chad politician? Who said, why did you poison my tea? And then his wife was like, why don't you drink it? You got it. <laughs> Alcohol funny man. Sir Winston, you're drunk. Yes, madam. And you, my dear, are ugly, but in the morning I shall be sober. Damn! What did he say fuck me for? I was just making an observation, dude. Dude is just being cruel for no reason. You drank the brandy, motherfucker, and now I gotta pay the price? It is true. British last names be like Church Hill. Never really thought about it like that. But British names be like Neville Longbottom. <laughs> is that guy real? Or is that like... Is it based on a true story like The Martian or what? Yes, he's real. I knew it. Platform nine and three quarters.
I will not be answering your anime question. I will simply say anime fans, it's not 1996, okay? There's dozens of you. You can talk amongst yourselves. You don't need to drag me into your, into your private hobbies, okay? What does that mean? Dude's asking me how do I respond to the accusation that I have yaoi hands. Think I don't know what that means? You think I've never seen the paddle? I reject the premise of your question. Damn, he does. I'm just saying, if anybody out here is posting, damn, he does, and you were also joining in in the dogpiling on Theater Kids, pot calling the kettle black. That's all I'm saying. Oh, we're just having a bit of fun. People singing the Hamilton soundtrack at Denny's, that's a war crime. Burn the witch. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the sons of York. Read a book, Andes, when you finally read a book, but it's by Ernest Hemingway instead of Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> Sorry, I've just like, got a lot of like neurons firing all at once. I'm trying to just send them out there as fast as I can <laughs> before I lose them. <laughs> Oh, man. What do you say fuck me for? We don't negotiate with terrorists. Gen Z's canceling Hemingway? He canceled himself, bro. That's like half the point. I did not take a shot at Brandon Sanderson, by the way. We need to work on our media literacy. At no point did I say Brandon Sanderson when you read an Ernest Hemingway book instead of The Wheel of Time 3422. I said, read a book Andes when you finally read a book, but it's by Ber uh, Ernest Hemingway instead of Brandon Sanderson. Bro said Burnest. What's your Terry Pratchett take? I don't have one. I've never, I've never read a Terry Pratchett novel. And you want to talk about Guy Gabriel K? Now we're, now we're cooking. Bro said, "What if, what if I could be the horny J.R.R. Tolkien?" How the hell do you know Guy Gabriel K? After I finished reading the Lord of the Rings books in the seventh grade, I went to chapters, I walked into the fantasy section, and bought something with the coolest cover I could find. <laughs> that is how I know Guy Gabriel K. I did judge a book by its cover. That's how shit worked back in the early 2000s and the 90s, bro. We didn't have good reads back then. What's your favorite children's book? Listen, I know I'm, I'm Dr. Seuss pill today. All of the Dr. Seuss books are like not very good as an adult. But there's, there is something about Oh the Thinks You Can Think. I know I talked about this before and people were like, damn, I didn't expect it to line up, but it kind of does. Oh the Thinks You Can Think in prose, whatever. But the art in it, like every single page, looks like it could be turned into an area in Dark Souls or Bloodborne with like a legitimate boss at the end of it. Like, um, here, here's a page for you. Go find it. Think up black water. Think up a white sky. 
think up a boat, think of Bloogs blowing by. Go look at that page. And then tell me that that shit doesn't look like a place you would go in a Souls. Probably Dark Souls 2. It looks a little bit like the first Bastille. Or think of Peter the Postman who crosses the ice once every day and on Saturdays twice. That shit is the Crystal Caverns. We're rolling the whole thing. Tale of Azong goes crazy. You can wonder how long is the Tale of Azong. I know what you're talking about. It is kind of Dark Souls for kids. Librarian already did this bit. Excuse me. No, they didn't. They chopped and screwed it, and I respect them for it. They didn't do the bit. I did the bit. You're like, I've heard this one before. It's not my fault that as soon as you finish the stream, you go watch chopped and screwed remixes of the stream, and then you're like, we've heard this one before. Of course you heard this one before. You're, hitting, you're the, in charge of your own media diet, bro. You don't go to the Radiohead concert, and you're like, you know... What the fuck? They're playing Karma Police. You played that last night. Yeah, I did. Because last night we were in New Jersey and tonight we're at Madison Square Garden. You weren't supposed to be at both shows. That's why we went on tour. New Jersey mentioned. And not in the context of the Canucks sweeping and destroying metropolitan New York. Beating the Islanders? Eh. Expected. No offense, Bo Horvat. I'll tell you that for free. Beating the Devils? Vince McMahon looking a little bit more impressed. Beating the Rangers? Ooh, Vince McMahon looking very excited indeed. Why, why did I walk into it? I walked into it, bro. <laughs> it's all right. We always end the, the Isaac series for the day with a, um, with a loss. Okay, I'm going to call that Repentance X. 